Hello, my kindergarten friends. Today I'm reading Red Eyes or Blue Feathers on a Quilt in a Book. This is another book from our Journeys Kindergarten Curriculum. Um, it tells how animals use color to survive and to hunt and to find mates. The book is written by Patricia M. Stockland and it's illustrated by Todd Oren. It's called Red Eyes or Blue Feathers, a book about animal colors. Look at that beautiful title page. Color Adaptations. What's the best way to survive in the wild? Adaptation. Color is one way to adapt. So how does an animal's color help it survive? Some animals have colors that help them hide from hungry predators. Other animals use their color to keep from being seen while they hunt. Colors even help animals find mates or talk to each other. Read on to find out why some animals have such clever colors. This is about the red-eyed tree frog. Isn't that a beautiful picture of him? He's also on the cover of the book. Listen as I read about the red-eyed tree frog. Bright red eyes shine in the night. The red-eyed tree frog is wide awake. During the day, this tiny frog hides its bright colors by closing its eyes and tucking up its legs. The red-eyed tree frog's shiny green back blends in with the trees. Predators think the little frog is a leaf. The vertical pupils of the red-eyed tree frog help it to see better at night. Daytime frogs usually have horizontal slits. So see how the pupils go up and down? That's what they're talking about. It gives him better night vision. And then the frogs that are out during the day have the horizontal slitted pupils. Polar bear, the beautiful white animal that lives where it's really cold. White fur surrounds a shiny black nose. A polar bear slowly lumbers across the snow. The polar bear's snow-colored coat blends in with the arctic tundra. Its favorite treat is seal blubber. As the bear sits on the edge of the ice, a seal comes up for air. The seal doesn't see the giant paw grabbing for it. Grrr. The polar bears are not exactly white. Their fur is transparent or clear. Light reflects off it and makes it appear white or yellowish. This is the polar bear, and his color helps him to blend in with the snow and ice. Ooh, this one's about a red fox. Rusty colored fur rustles through the woods. A red fox follows a scent. A scent is a smell that they smell. This small fox finds food in many places. Its red coat and dark tail help it blend in with plants and trees. Neither predators nor prey can see the sly fox. Being able to hide so well helps this animal live and survive in many different places. The red fox will eat almost anything, including insects, fruit, and leftover food from people's garbage cans. I guess that's why they say sly as a fox. They can really get by. Ooh, this is about a seahorse. Do you see how that seahorse blends in? Yellow, green, and brown seaweed swishes in the shallow sea. A small seahorse swishes in the seaweed, too. The seahorse is a slow swimmer. Its yellow-brown armor helps it blend in with the seaweed. Larger fish can't see the seaweed hi can't see the seahorse hiding. The seahorse can quickly change color to blend in better with its surroundings. It also changes color when it mates.
killer whale. Look at that beautiful picture. A huge black and white animal glides through the water. The killer whale is ready to attack. This ocean mammal is a smart hunter. Black and white markings help this large animal hide. From below, its white belly looks like sunlight. From above, its black back becomes part of the ocean shadows. Killer whales use a lot of hunting tricks. Some swim, swim under chunks of ice and tip them over. Resting seals slide right into the water. And seals would make a yummy snack for a killer whale. Macaw. Do you see that beautiful bird? That's a macaw. Red, blue, yellow, green feathers float in the air. A colorful macaw lands in the trees. Macaws are some of the brightest birds around. The fancy colors fit well in their rainforest homes. These bold colors help the parrots blend in to their surroundings. The white skin around a macaw's beak will turn red if the bird is excited or angry. And that's a macaw. Black rhinoceros. Do you think he's really black? Let's read and find out. A big booming tank stomps down the hill. The black rhino is on its way to the watering hole. This giant creature isn't really black. It's actually gray. Rhinos like to cool off by getting dirty, but the mud also makes them look darker. A nice mud bath makes the hot African sun easier to handle. The dried mud on a rhino's skin also protects the animal from pesky flies. I'm thinking that a mud bath sounds pretty good. I'd much rather have a mud bath than flies. And this is the jewel beetle. A shiny blue and gold shell shimmers in the sun. A jewel beetle sparkles on a flower. This bright beetle looks pretty enough to wear, but don't be fooled. It uses the dazzling color as a disguise. Predators think this tasty creature is part of the plant. And it does blend in really well. Jewel beetles also use their bright colors to find mates. And the chameleon is the last animal we'll look at in this book. Chameleon. Green skin turns yellow and then turns to red instead. The changing chameleon rests on a rock. A chameleon shade changes depending on its mood and temperature. It uses this clever color code to show how it feels. Color is one way chameleons communicate. People think chameleons can change any color, but they can't. Their colors do include black, white, green, blue, red, and yellow. And that's a chameleon. I hope you enjoyed Red Eyes or Blue Feathers, a book about animal colors. This is part of our journey series, and it helps you understand how animals use color, either as camouflage to adapt to their surroundings or um, to attract a mate or to communicate. Sometimes they use it just to hide while they're hunting or to hide while they are being hunted. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon on A Quilt and a Book.